All right, greetings, AG6IF. I think this is going to be part three, part four. The uh, panel is back in. There's a couple clips in the back. You slide the tabs in. One little nut holds the thing on. Uh, kind of pivots out. There's four connectors on the back. Six up here on top. And a power connector back in the back, if you remember. Uh, when I powered up, the, when I hooked up the battery terminals, the, the inside lights came on. That's a good thing. All right, so what do we do next here? Inside lights are on. Why don't we, uh... Oh, let's see. We fire it. Here we go. All right. Right running. Instead of your account adjustment, there are no long-term contracts and support this 24 Get your calls, stay connected, rock. Now get $20 off your first. Looks good. It's running. How about that? I love it when a plan comes together. Again, it was that middle relay that are soldered into the board. It's not that hard to fix. It's uh, hardest part's getting this stupid thing out of the truck. But that's not even that hard. All the connectors are different. There's a tab on them you push, and it, they pop off when you pull on them a little bit. Not a big deal. Take the one nut off, pivots out, pull the connectors in the back off. Um, and get that power connector off the input power connector on the far side there. I'll see if I can get over there and get you a look at that. Maybe, maybe not. And then get it on the workbench, and then it's uh, pretty simple. Uh, working in an organized fashion, and you can, you can uh, save yourself about $700. I'm going to buy an ICOM 7100 to put in here for the radio... Uh, radio hobby there so anyway thanks for watching following along and uh, hopefully we can uh, save some money out there those of us that like to tinker so this is Jim AG 6 I of Southern California it is dark out I don't like finishing a project at nighttime in the dark but I want to get done next couple nights are real busy so 7-3 all thanks for watching have a great day tomorrow